Amen. Amen. The Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. Lift up those hands, stand and go before the Lord in prayer. Make a joyful noise. Give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you the highest praise. We worship you. We praise you. You deserve all the honor. We magnify you. We adore thee. We extol thee, O oh God. Righteous God. Holy God. Mighty God. All powerful God. Have your way. Have your way in our lives today. Have your way in our lives today. We give you permission to have your way in our lives today. We open our hearts for you to have your way in our lives today. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we praise you for all the wonderful blessings you've given us. We thank you for being saved. We're not worthy, oh God, but we know that our righteousness is at filthy rags in your sight, but yet still you would save wretches like us. We love you, God. We praise you. Everybody say, Jesus. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus. For you thought we were worth saving. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Worship God. You thought I was worth saving. Hallelujah. So I 
chicken this time. For some, it's normal. Uh, usually it's turkey, but we did, my wife did chicken this time, and it was a blessing. Amen. 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 We never uh, entertained the turkey <coughs> this year. Amen. We never entertained the turkey this year. And we heard yes. other folks just went with other different types of meats. Amen. I know, of course, some are traditional, but we went a little different route. And it was good. It was great. It Amen. was real good. It was real good. Uh, I think there's just a little bit of chicken left. Uh, <laughs> Praise God. But somebody will eat the rest of that and enjoy it. Amen. 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 As they prepare to sing another song. Bless you is my prayer. Be praying for the choir. Be praying for uh, God to bless your soul and allow this song to bless your heart. Bless you is my prayer. Amen.
Continue to move in a special way. Touch each and every heart in Christ's name. Amen. 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 We got Psalms chapter 1, verse 1. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we're going to walk this thing down and allow God to bless our soul. Amen. 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 Everybody's talking about uh, uh, pandemic and pressure, okay, and perishing and, and things of that nature. But we're going to talk about prosperity today. We're going to talk about prospering today. Amen. You've got to have a made up mind if you desire to prosper, okay, right. in knowledge. Prosper in the work of the Lord. That's prosper right. where in your marriage. Prosper wherever you're at. Come on. God. I want to. I want to just prosper with clarity. Just have good walking around thinking That's sense, right. and good decision making. I want to prosper in my decision making. I want to prosper in my speech and in, in teaching and preaching. Okay, and expounding and expository in the Word of God. I want to prosper in those areas. You have to tell yourself and have a made-up mind that these are the areas Solomon said, God, my God, Solomon, how do you want to lead these children? He said, I can't lead these children. He said, ask for something. And he told them, I need knowledge. Mm -hmm. I want to prosper in knowledge and wisdom. I want to lead these folks. God will give to you, but you got to ask him for it. Mm -hmm. Psalms 1.1, it says, blessed is a man that walketh. Look, the reward Comes out first. Blessed. God puts a reward up there already first. Is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nor standeth in the way of the sinners. Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doeth he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree... Planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Whatever he does shall yes. prosper. Yes. The ungodly are not so are not so. You see the comparing contrast all of a sudden. He said, I gotta I got you. Uh, God says I had, I gotta address the ungodly though. There's a prosperous side. And there's a non-prosperous side. He says the ungodly are not so, cannot be, and are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. There's no place for the ungodly before the face of God or in the congregation. For the Lord knoweth the way of righteousness. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. The title of the message is, Prosper, Don't Perish. Prosper, Don't Perish. A lot of folks desire to advance in certain areas in their life. The world tries to advance in technology and uh, hormone growth and food and how to make gasoline last longer and burn more efficiently with less pollution and things of that nature. And we try and, you know, figure out things, how we can prosper things and make these last a little bit longer and preserve them and get the most out of very little. Right. And the Bible really speaks of two distinct right. type of characters here, two distinct type of people, okay, that God, that the psalmist is writing about, the prosperous and the ungodly. Amen. Yes. We can say good and evil, however you want to cut it, but the one that will prosper and the one that will not prosper, the ungodly. He says, blessed is the man that walk that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. The person chooses. We have a choice. We have a choice to choose, okay? Yes. To choose who we desire to counsel with and yes. walk with. Yes. And the Bible is certain and just think about who okay, that we walk with where our blessing will be at and the prosperity will be at as well. It says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Right. So we have a choice, right, right. to hang around the ungodly or not be around them, right. to mingle with the ungodly Amen. or not mingle okay, or mingle with the, the ungodly. Either way, we have that choice. This person elects to withdraw himself. 
from the ungodly. Amen. We, to be Amen. blessed, we have to withdraw ourselves from that individual, yes. that individual that is ungodly, the one that has not received Christ yes. yet. Yes. A person tends to things that are of God. They want to walk in his way. He said that walk in his word. We have to walk in his way and in his word. Romans 14, 19 says, Let us therefore follow after these things which make for peace. The one that is blessed, right, will make for peace. The ungodly is not going to make things for peace. They want to disrupt things. Yeah. If you look around and you see That's right. corruption and interruption in systems that are set up for us to live by and things of that nature, you can see the ungodly just come to the surface, yeah. which makes for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. Amen. And that's the person that refrains from the ungodly because they desire to be blessed. We have to have this desire to be blessed. We have to have this desire to walk with the Lord and refrain from the ungodly. God gives a person strength and God gives a person wisdom to do these things that he has written in his word. You may say, Lord, well, I'm struggling to walk with the godly. Because everybody around me seems to be ungodly. Right. We have to seek God. We have to stay a hold of God. Yes. We have to stay yes. in his word. Yes. We have to grab the Bible, right? His word, yes. the instrument to eternal life. Amen. And read his word and walk in his word. We have to feed ourselves. We have to nourish ourselves. Yeah. Oh, he, he, he's not a good preacher. You gotta nourish yourself. Yeah. Oh, he don't sing right. They don't preach right. They don't teach right. You gotta pre feed yourself. Yeah. You gotta the Bible's the number one selling book in the world. Yes. God says you can feed yourself. Yeah. We always want to say, this one's not feeding me. This one's not giving to me. This one's not nourishing me. And this one and this one. No, God says, you have a brain and you have the ability. Right. It's up to you. Right. So you got your own salvation with fear and trouble. It's up to you. That's right. God will give you wisdom if you ask him. God, I'm trying hard to walk with the righteous. But wherever I go, there's ungodly here. I look up, there's ungodly there. And there's ungodly here. God, I need this wisdom. I need this knowledge to walk straight. Yes. I need this strength. Amen. God knows some of us are weak and we don't have yes. the capability or ability. Some don't have the Holy Ghost yes. yet. And so they're in a yes. weakened state. They want to live for God. They try to live for God. But the weakness and the ungodly that gets around them pulls them back down. Mm -hmm. God, give us that knowledge and wisdom to yeah. maintain and yeah. stay around the godly and walk with the godly and refrain and stay away from ungodly counsel. Yeah. Well, how do I distinguish what is gossip and what is conversation? <laughs> the Spirit will speak to you and let you yes. know. Amen. The sin of the scornful, God wants to stay wants us to us to stay out of that seat. Yeah. That scornful individual is that one that acts defiant and one that disregards authority and has an expression and an attitude and a, a behavior of interruptions and corruptness and no productivity, just scorn, always just Come on. all the time. Come on. You know, the news is loaded with that. Yeah. Come on. You did this, you said that, yeah. just scornful. Yes. Everybody yes. wants what everybody else has. Come on. Nobody's willing to accept whatever is going on. That's the dark sea of deception. God does not want us sitting there. Somebody may come with some news to you and really foul news, okay? And you got to make up in your mind that I don't want to sit, okay, in this seat where my, where my ears are hearing. I don't want to sit there, God. That's right. Filter that junk out. Right. Amen. You have to be careful. It can be family. Mm -hmm. right. I just want to I just want to share with you That's right. what mm. brother did or sister did. Yeah. Of the family. I want, I want to share with you what they did. And it's just bad, 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 bad news. That's right. And you're like, I don't want to hear this. Right. God, I need this filter to work. Yes. I need you to clean this junk out. I don't want to make a judgment call, That's God. Right. That's right. I need this strength. And I don't want to put on the referee shirt Amen. and sit there and be on this side or that side. 
God, save their soul. Lord, touch their mouth as they're speaking those words. Lord, touch their mouth. Touch their heart. Change them, Lord. Bless them with a prosperous spirit, not a perishing spirit. There's a difference there. There's a big difference there. You see the compare and contrast of the righteous and the wicked. Uh, the Lord said earlier as we read, he talked about the one being prosperous and then the ungodly. Uh -huh. Proverbs 10 and 11 says, the mouth of the righteous man is a well mm. of life. How can the oh, mouth of a righteous man oh, be a, a well of life? Oh, because the things Jesus. that are going to come out of that man's mouth oh, are going to be from Jesus. God. They're going to be of God. It's yeah. going to be loaded. Loaded with yeah. encouragement. Loaded with enlightenment. Yeah. It's going to be loaded with love what comes out of that man's mouth or that woman's mouth. It's an, it is a well of life. That yes. means me and you, God in us, we speak in his word right to an individual Amen. and it'll bring life to Amen. somebody else. That's we have right. the ability in Christ Jesus That's to right. insert life in somebody else because Amen. of he that is in me. Yes. Jesus yes. Christ, we Amen. have that ability. But it says, yes. but violence covered the mouth of the wicked. Yes. Oh, yes. God. He yes. says, violence. Yes. He's got to let him know, hey, there's a flip side to this and there's a downside to this. Yes. What comes out of your mouth? And James said, hey, what, uh, sweet water and bitter water can't come out your mouth. It's got to be one or the other. And the Bible shows us, you want to prosper? Amen. Speak those things that are of God. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to prosper, then you know you got to go in the direction of the ungodly. But nobody wants to go there. I don't want to go there. And I pray that you don't want to go there either. 10, 12 says, hatred stirs up strife, but love yes. covers oh. Yeah. All sins. Yes. Somebody oh, comes to you and you just love them, even in your sinful nature. You amen. just keep loving them, right? You just keep loving them. Oh, you keep loving. I'm covering your sins again. I'm covering your sins again. Oh, oh no, don't yell them about their mistakes. I'm covering your sin again. Oh, I'm covering your sin again. Oh, I'm you again. In your heart, you forgive over yes. and over oh, and over. Seventy times seven. She made a mistake. He made a mistake. You yeah. can love them again. Keep covering their sins. Yes. Keep covering. They're lying to me. I know they're lying to me, Lord. Keep That's covering right. their sins. Amen. Pray for them. That's love right. them. Yes. Give them a way out. That's right. Oh, Amen. Jesus. Thank you. Help us, Jesus. It's so easy to say, oh, you lie. You're a liar. Help us, Jesus. You're a liar. Get out of here. You're lying again. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, cover their sins. Mm -hmm. oh, Hatred yes. stirred up stripes, but love covered all sins. Love them. They say call them any names. Right. <laughs> it said to love them. Right, right. Ten thirteen says, "In the lips of him that have understanding, wisdom is found." Don't you want to be there? Don't you want to have right that 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 God given gift to be able to help people with knowledge and wisdom and understanding? So the words you say, they understand it and they make they want to make a change and they don't walk away. Okay, without being fed properly, you don't want them walking away empty. That's right. You want to put something. Yes, you're going to be tired. Yes, you're going to be weary. Yeah. Yes, you're going to want to eat. Yes, yeah. you're going to be bothering the spirit. Yes, yeah. you're going to say, I got, I got things to do. I ain't got time yeah. right now. Right. But you got an opportunity to change a life yeah. and change Amen. a soul. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. The lips of him that has understanding, wisdom is found. God bless us here and online with those lips. Yes, yes. Where understanding yes. and wisdom Amen. is found. Yes. In the heat of a moment, God, bless us with those lips. Yes. Where conversation is tense. Yes. Bless us with those lips of understanding Amen. and Amen. wisdom. Yes. Amen. Don't let the emotions rise up and take over. Yes. And those lips flip and begin right. to say other things Amen. that should not be said. And love is not projected toward that individual. It says, but a, rod of, a, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Yes. God's got correction for us yeah. if we don't use what he's given us correctly. Wow. That, that's saved and unsaved, folks. There's a rod of correction there. Yes. For the back of him, void of, oh, you don't understand what I'm telling you? That's right. You don't understand? The Lord says, you don't understand? Okay. I got a lot of correction for you. Lord, help us. 
helpless. Always pray to Lord for understanding. Always pray for the God to God for wisdom mm -hmm. and knowledge. That I always, over and over and over and over. He wants us there. He wants us to understand his word. He wants us to understand people that we are presenting the word to. And he wants us to understand, okay, what he's trying to do in their life. Which is the same thing he did in our life. He redeemed us. He changed us. He set us free. There's a lot of people that we contend with. But God is using us to set them free. But we contend with them. And we fuss with them. And we argue with them. And God says, you're the closest person to that individual that I am trying to set free. They are your child. They are your friend. They may be a worker, whatever it may be. They are somebody close to you. And you are the tool that I am. Yes, they are sinning right now and they're in sin. But I'm still using you as a tool to reach them. Don't you understand? Yes. You are my servant, and you are a tool of my hand. If I want you to be a rake one day, I'll have you be a rake one day. If I want you to be a weed eater, I'll have you, I'll have you be any shape or type of tool I need you to be towards that individual. Wow. But a lot of times, what do we do? We clash with them. Yes, and we get yes. into it with them. Yes, and God says, the tool is not working. That's right. God got tools all over the place. Yes. And it's us. Yes, no need to get upset. Amen. Yes, no need to get upset. There's, why? Why would you get upset? You have to, I'm telling you, you have to condense your mind. You have to change your mind. We have to change our thinking in our mind. <laughs> Who cares if the Cowboys lost? Don't get upset at the game. <laughs> Don't get on the Seahawks. It doesn't matter. Why are you getting upset? Yes. Why are you getting upset because somebody failed or somebody quit or somebody just gave up? Why are you getting upset? That's right. Why are you getting upset? You lose right. the victory. Wow. That's right. That's right. That's right. God will make up the difference. Yeah. God will make the difference. I need to be, we need to be that tool of God's hand 24 hours a day. Ready help us, Lord. to be wielded anywhere he wants to wield us. Help us Lord. Oh, Jesus. God wants us to delight oh, Jesus. in his word. Proverbs 10, 14 says, Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. Mm. So when we talk foolishness, near destruction, we have to be careful. You want to prosper or you want to perish? You have to decide. God wants us to delight, to delight in his word and meditate in his word. He wants us to get somewhere where we can spend time with him alone in his word to help us walk uprightly. The writer of Proverbs said, every word of God is pure. Every word of God is pure. That's heavy right there. So if I put the word of God in me and it's pure, this is going to come out. Purity. Yes. That's what should yes. be coming out in our thoughts, in our speech, in our actions, yes. our walk, our talk. Everything that we do should not be defiled. If you're putting something in you, right, like medicine, you're sick, it should heal you. Yes. Same thing with God's word. Yes. All of it's pure. Yes. yes. The purity is not going to say, I'm going to sit right in my high, right, I'm going to come inside you and you're going to read the word that gets inside of you and I'm going to sit beside impurity. Yes. It doesn't work like that. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Protection, oh, trust, Jesus. a shield. And oh, God knows Jesus. we need a shield right now, don't yes. we? Yes. Oh, Amen. We, need, we need that invisible shield. Oh, we need that, that spiritual shield, that supernatural shield in all, all manifolds and all directions of our life, north, east, south, and west. We need that protection. We need that shield. Help us, Lord. And if we ingest this pure word, this untainted word, set this pure, uncontaminated word, undefiled word, unpolluted word, we can yes. be, we can be. Like he said earlier, like that tree yes. planted yes. by the rivers of 
water. Yeah. Don't you want to be planted there where you have the resources yeah. and the nourishment and the minerals and the spiritual, okay, blessings by the water he's talking about here, all right, planted there. That tree is going to be nursed. That tree is going to grow. That tree is going to be fed. That tree is not going to dry up. That yes. tree is going to bear fruit. Yes. yes. Amen. Pass by the rivers. Yes. Pass by the rivers. Yes. Yes. Pass by the rivers here, God, the Dallas, Texas. Oh, God, the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Pass us right now, God, the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, by the rivers of water, that we can receive the heavenly resources in this earthly environment, dear God, in the name of Jesus. That bringeth forth fruit in his season. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. We have to ask God to bless us to be that tree planted by the rivers of water. There's no two ways about it. There's no two ways about it. Don't dry up, my friend. God, 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 pluck me up and replant me. Yes. Pluck me up and replant me. Yes. Pluck me up and replant yes, me, God. Pastor. Pluck me up and replant me. Yes. 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 That prosperity comes being where God desires for us to be. Yes, sir. He desires us to prosper. He desires us for us to grow. Yes. He doesn't desire for us to lack. And let's not sabotage it. Let's not sabotage what God has for us mm -hmm. by exploding. Thirty-one, thirty-two days left in the rest of the year. God, help me not to explode. Amen. Amen. Help me make it to the end of the year, God. Yes. Yes. Help me not to get um, riled up. Come yes, on, y'all not with me. Y'all yes, not going to explode yes, or something. Y'all be exploding. I'm just not around, and we and you not around when I explode. And Lord, help us not explode. Jesus. Okay, it ain't got to be an outburst. It can be internal. Yes. You know, sometimes there's fireworks on the inside. There's all kind of yes. uh, uh, sparklers and things going on, and water <laughs> rockets and all kind of stuff. M80s and M100 exploding on the inside. Yes. You know, Amen. Your know, wife said, honey, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. You exploded. <laughs> you exploded left and right. Yes. How yes. Right. 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 right? Jesus. The Jesus. enemy's trying to take our victory. That's right. Jesus. He's trying to stop Jesus. us from loving. That's right. That's right. He wants us to sit in the seat of the scornful. Oh, he doesn't want us to be blessed. That's right. yeah. He doesn't want us. To prosper. Yes. Yes. He's going to have us perish. Yes. Right. But we got to put in some work. Amen. Also ourselves. Yes. We have to maintain. 1130 says. Proverbs says. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. The fruit of the righteous. Yes. Is a tree of life. Hallelujah. We have to taste that. We have to be there. We have to visualize that. And say God I desire that yes. I desire that the Lord has given every one of us a way to Him so we can receive His blessings. The righteous shall never be removed, it says in 1028 of Proverbs. The righteous shall never be removed. Oh God, fixed, stayed, fastened yes. like a nail is to a two by four, never removed. The tent of the upright shall flourish. Can't you just taste that? Can, can't your soul taste that? The tent of the upright shall flourish. You mean my household, where I'm at? Yes. If I live up right there, yes. everybody <laughs> under the roof. Amen.
These are simple things. But we have to keep our flesh under subjection. Yes. We can do this, church. Yes. And online, you can do this. Amen. You can do this. You have to have it. Your mind under subjection. And your emotions under subjection. Yes. And your mouth under subjection. Yes. And your behavior under subjection. Yes. And your will. Okay? And motivations under subjection. And your intentions gotta be under, they gotta be good ones, under subjection. And if we have Jesus Christ in our life, there shouldn't no, be no problem keeping those things under subjection. Yes. That we may prosper and not perish. We gotta keep sowing righteousness. We have to keep walking uprightly in his word to receive our sure reward. Yes. Amen. Amen. And guess what? I know this. We're overdue. All of us are overdue Amen. for a surge Amen. of prosperity. That's right. Like noticeable Amen. prosperity. The way God wants us to prosper. Some prosperities will be different than others. God knows exactly where we need to prosper at yes. and in. And I desire the prosperity he has for me in my walk with him. Yes. I desire for you to prosper also. Yeah. We don't want to walk with the wicked. Amen. We don't want to walk with the scornful. That's right. We want to walk with Jesus. Yes. Yes. Amen. We yes. want to walk Thank with you, Lord. Jesus. Yes. No two ways about it. We're all heads bowed in reverence to God. God wants us to prosper. Lord, whether it be spiritual growth, dear Lord, whether it be church growth, whether it be marital growth, any way you want to, Lord, prosper us. In any way you want to, God. Whether it be in our servitude to you, God. Any way you want to, Lord, prosper us. You can ask him today. You can say, Lord, any way you want to prosper me, Lord, prosper me. Any way you want to prosper me, Lord, prosper my soul, prosper my mind. Prosper my servant to you. Serve to you. Prosper my dedication to you, God. Prosper my obedience to you, Lord. Oh, God. Prosper my heavenly desires, oh, God. To be with you in heaven, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Allow God to prosper you, my friend. Ask him to prosper you. Any way, Lord, any way you see fit to prosper me, God, do it according to your will and to your way. Give us that surge of prosperity, God, in the name of Jesus, right now, God. Undeniable, oh God. Excessive prosperity according to thy will. According to thy mighty hand, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. If it's loving you more, God, then prosper me there to love you more. Oh, Jesus. If I need to surrender to you, Lord, the more, then prosper me there, dear God. Love him right now. God wants us to prosper, my friend. He doesn't want us to perish. He wants us to prosper in Christ Jesus. Yes. He wants your team to prosper. He wants your household to flourish. He wants your household to prosper. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Everywhere you walk, He wants you to prosper. He wants your soul to prosper. He wants you to prosper in your health. Oh, God. Prosper me, God, in my health. Yes, yes. Prosper me, Lord. 
in my marriage. Prosper us, Lord, in our marriage. Hallelujah. Prosper us, Lord, the raising of our children. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Prosper us, Lord, in our thinking. Oh, yes, please, Lord. In our thinking that it be pure. Yes. Prosperous in our speech, in our preaching, in our teaching, dear God, in the name of Jesus. Prosperous, Lord, in our giving. Yes. Prosperous, Lord, in our sharing. Yes. Prosperous, God, in our caring. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Prosperous, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In charity. Yes. And prosperous in love. Amen. These altars open. Let's all find a place to pray. We're falling in love. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. Cheers! 